All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So I'm going to make a video where I talked a little bit about Bill Kazmaier, and he is a guy who I believe is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, world's strongest man winners of all time. Now, I made a video a couple days ago about Bill Kazmaier calling out Tom Platts um, for Tom Platts' famous squat video where he's squatting 500-plus pounds for over 23 reps. Um, and Bill Kazmaier accused Tom Platts of using fake weight. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out now. Um, but a lot of people were asking, who's Bill Kazmaier? And I realized a lot of people might not know who Bill Kazmaier actually is. A lot of you guys might just be bodybuilding fans or casual fans of the sport and might not be familiar with um, the strongman scene or the strongman winners of World's Strongest Man. So I wanted to cover a little bit on Bill Kazmaier in this video. So the World's Strongest Man competition began back in 1977, and Bill Kazmaier would be the third man ever to win the World's Strongest Man, the first being Bruce Wilhelm and the second being Don Rydhout. Um, so Bill Kazmaier won his first World's Strongest Man in 1980. He had won again in 1981 and also 1982. Now, this is the interesting thing about Bill Kazmaier's World's Strongest Man career. Um, so from 1983, 84, 85, and 86, he was actually not allowed to compete because he was, quote, too dominant of a competitor. He kept winning. At that time, he had won more World's Strongest Mans than any other person. And the powers that be decided they didn't want to let Bill compete because they wanted to provide the opportunity for somebody new to win um, because Bill Kazmaier was just winning by such a large margin, no one else was even coming close. So obviously, this was blatantly unfair to Bill Kazmaier, and you could make an argument that 83, 84, 85, 86, Bill Kazmaier could have won all of those years, making him a seven-time World's Strongest Man. And as some of you may or may not know, the record for World's Strongest Man wins is five, and that record is held by Mariusz Pujanowski. So Bill Kazmaier actually was allowed to come back in 1988, where he would play second to John Paul Sigmerson. And then his final World's Strongest Man appearance would be in 1989, where he would place fourth. And from that point forward, he would stop competing in the World's Strongest Man. Now, as far as I know, he did still compete in some strongman competitions all the way up until 1992. But from that point forward, I don't think he ever did any more strongman, um, you know, after the early 90s. Now, currently, he is one of the biggest faces and representatives, really, of strongman as a sport. I believe he is the announcer for the Arnold Classic Strongman competition. Um, I've met him a couple times at the Arnold Classic, actually. Now, in addition to being a three-time world strongest man, Bill Kazmaier actually broke the bench press world record in the raw bench press three times. In 1979, set a new record of 617.3 pounds. In 1980, setting a new record of 633.83 pounds. And in 1981, arguably his most impressive record ever, he would bench press 661.4 pounds raw, becoming the first man ever to bench press 300 kilograms. And this was done in an IPF sanctioned meet and without any elbow wrap. So completely raw powerlifting, um, really impressive lifts by Bill Kazmaier. So three-time world's strongest man and three-time bench press world record holder. So obviously, in addition to strongman, he was a competitive powerlifter and his best powerlifting total ever was 2,425 pounds, which is 1,100 kilograms. And that would be totaled with a 925.9 pound squat, a 661.4 pound bench press that I mentioned before, and an 837.8 pound deadlift. So I wanted to speak briefly on Kazmaier's best lifts because Kazmaier, again, was commenting on Tom Platt's squat. And a lot of people in the comment section were saying, oh, who is Bill Kazmaier to comment on Tom Platt's squatting? Bill Kazmaier's never squatted anything impressive. So Bill Kazmaier does have a 925.9 pound squat. So I think that is certainly worth mentioning as far as his credibility to talk about Tom Platt's. And if being a three-time World Strongest Man winner and three-time world record holding power lifter weren't enough, he would also go on to become a professional wrestler and, as I mentioned, also a sports commentator. And in 1981, he would try out for the Green Bay Packers NFL football team. Now, during his professional wrestling career, he would briefly wrestle for Vince McMahon's WWF in 1986. But the majority of his wrestling fame would come in 1991, where he began wrestling for WCW, where arguably his most famous rivalry was with Lex Luger. And if all those things didn't make him manly enough, when he wasn't busy being a professional wrestler, football player, uh, strongman, or powerlifter, he would spend his time working as a bouncer or a lumberjack. 
So Bill Kazmaier will forever go down in history as one of the greatest strength athletes of all time. And in my personal opinion, probably one of the greatest winners of the World's Strongest Man competition, because I believe had he been given the opportunity to compete between 83 and 88, he would have won at least two, probably three of those years um, to at least tie or break the record of five World's Strongest Man wins um, that is currently held by Marius Pujanowski. And then also combine that with the fact that his margins of victory between first and second were so large, um, it really made him that much more impressive as, of a World's Strongest Man competitor. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.